G'day, it's Joel Rasmussen for Southern Cross Combat, and I'm here with the new Hex Featherweight Champion. I'm here with George Mangos. George, first off, congratulations on the victory. You are covered in gold, my friend. Yeah, How heavy is that all resting on you right now? Uh, it's good weight, you know. I don't mind carrying this sort of weight. Um, but, yeah, tonight was my night. Um, I'm glad I got the job done. Justin's a tough opponent, you know, six by win streak, taking out some of the best fighters in Australia, my teammates. Um, yeah, but it was no problem for me, you know, I just stayed composed and got the job done. Uh, talking about kind of that weight, and I kind of asked you about it at the at the press conference, you're kind of like, to use a pun because of the lion's den, uh, you are the young lion, yeah. you know, you're the, the new kid on the block. Some people were saying, I'm sure that can add pressure, but then when you go out there and you get it done, like, how good does that feel? Uh, it feels amazing. You know, I, I never um, doubted myself any second in that in that cage, even though he was on top of me, controlling me. I knew I was going to get the job done. Um, there was never a doubt in my mind. You know, I pull, believe it or not, I, I flick that sub off all the time in the gym. Um, these boys will know they get caught in it. <laughs> but um, thanks to them, it, you know, I could pull it off in the cage. Uh, you talked about that. Um, you, n you never doubted yourself in there. There were moments where he was, you know, he had a, a lot of control. He, he was doing well in that fight. Um, the furthest you've been in your professional career, uh, how was that? First off, how was it for you to go past the first round? Oh, it was great. I, I, I was um, outlasting him. You know, if you look in between rounds, I was fresh. He was sitting down, taking deep breaths. I could hear his breathing in the cage. Um, yeah, I, I wasn't slowing down. I told Frankie yesterday at the Wayne's, I'll do 10, 10 minute rounds. I don't, I don't care. I'm ready for all of that. Just because I never got past there, you know, in the in my other three fights. Um, I proved tonight, but I already knew that I could go deep in those later rounds and still get a finish. Uh, you talked about just then never losing that kind of belief in yourself. Uh, but when you are entering unknown territory of those later rounds, you may believe in yourself, but you've never been there. What are you kind of telling yourself as you kind of get off the stool and enter the, th the second and the third? Um, yeah, like I, I, I'm 100% confident because of I know how hard I work. You know, I, I don't miss a day of training no matter what. Even for this fight, you know, three weeks notice. I've been so sick the past two, three weeks. I, I've only had three weeks notice. I pumped like fucking two Sudafeds to clear my nose out before the fight. I don't care, you know, I was... Uh, I was still fresh. Nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to break my mental um, strength. And, yeah, I'll prove that tonight. 100% finish rate still intact, as mentioned off camera there. How nice is it to keep that intact? Yeah, no, it's awesome. You know, if I didn't get the finish, if I still got the job done, um, I wouldn't have minded. But, you know, <laughs> um, um, we've got the, I, I would, I'd love to keep that as long as I can, you know. Um, but, yeah. It's just, it's great. It's a good moment. <laughs> I was going to say, I feel like that's a pretty normal answer. How good does it feel to stop people? Pretty good. Yeah. Um, uh, now, now, uh, <laughs> now, of course, uh, uh, you were here and you had the job to do and you got it done. So I understand if that's what all your focus was on. But earlier in the night was a number one contenders fight uh, for this title between Semikade Kakembo and Jarrett Wilbraham. Uh, did you get a chance to watch that fight? And if you did, what did you think of it? Uh, I saw a glimpse of it um, while I was warming up. Yeah, it was it was all right. Nothing special. Um, Jared got edged out the decision, but I'm gonna have to watch that back to you know fully get my thoughts on it. But yeah, it looked like it was a close fight. I thought it was gonna be pretty close. I didn't think it was gonna be too one-sided. But yeah, it looks like Jared's the number one contact to contender. If nothing happens next for me and I'm still here on Hex, then um, I'm more than happy to defend my belt. September, I think the next show is, and um, yeah, I guess I'll see Jared then. Maybe he's gonna try get some revenge for Lockjaw. You uh, you just mentioned there, if you're still here, what is kind of the goals and what is that looking up at the future? Well, I'm ready for UFC. I've known that since day one. Um, I'll keep putting these people away until until I get that call up, you know. They don't want to sign these 30-year-old people that I've had to beat to get their attention. You know, I'm on this streak. I'm 20 years old. I'm young. I'm hungry. I'm exciting. Um, it's only a matter of time, whether it's after after tonight, after Jarrett, or after that guy. I don't care. I'll keep putting people away until, until I get that phone call. Now, uh... Ahead of this, I asked you at the press conference about uh, Jarrett, uh, not Jarrett, excuse me, Justin Van Heerden was the number one guy. Uh, one question uh, and then a, a kind of a follow-up. Uh, you shared the cage with him tonight. How good is Justin Van Heerden? Mate, there's, there's a reason he's, he's top of, you know, he was top of the uh, rankings. Um, he's been putting people, dangerous people away, not just bums. So um, for me to go out and make a statement like that, um, you know, shows how good I am. But yeah, to answer your question, Justin is great. He's a great fighter. No one gets to that, to that level of um, of um, ranking or anything like that just by fluke or by chance. You know, he went out there consistently, 
turn sort of turn his um career around after being sort of 50 50 put on this big win streak and yeah by by no means by, was that by accident um you know i'm sure he puts in the work but yeah he hadn't versed me yet so that's why he had a win streak <laughs> You come away with the victory tonight. He was the number one man at pound for pound and at featherweight. Where does that put you now when you hold a victory over him? Uh, only makes sense that I'm number one. That's that's all. That's what's uh, in my mind. I don't care what's in anyone else's, to be honest. But yeah, if it's not on the rankings, I don't care. I would now put the number one guy away. George Mangos, tonight belongs to you. I thank you very much for the time. Enjoy any celebrations you get to have and safe travels back home. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, is there anything else, by the way, that you need to say on the mic? You talked about maybe not getting a chance to say things. Anything you want to say? No, that's about it, really. Uh, that's it. Congrats to my, my one of my friends, Zander Nicola, got engaged tonight as well. So it was with everyone won tonight. Um, yeah. <laughs> thank Perfect. You. Perfect. Thank you very much for the time, man. I really do appreciate it.